Earlier this week, I found another person to admire. One of many, I might add. But the, the person this week is a man named Douglas Southall Freeman. And I came upon him. He's a fellow that I've seen on the spine of books for years and years. But we purchased a number of his books recently. And I came to know a little bit about him. It turns out that Douglas Southall Freeman published his first book in 1908 as he earned his doctorate from Johns Hopkins. Several years later, he earned the Pulitzer Prize for a four-volume set of R. E. Lee, the biography of Robert E. Lee. He then wrote a three-volume set on Lee's lieutenants that we've seen around. And in the 50s, he was awarded yet another Pulitzer Prize for his sixth volume work on the life of George Washington. A seventh volume of that set was published from his notes after his death. That's not enough, however, to have Pulitzer Prizes 40 years apart or 30 years apart. He also, or mainly, I guess, was um, a newspaper editor, a journalist. And he wrote 600,000 words a year in editorials for the Richmond newspaper, the news leader there in Richmond. In addition to that, in the mid-20s, he began a Saturday morning live radio show for a half hour that morphed into something that he did for about 30 years that was twice a day during the week, 15 minute segments live on the radio. Um, and he continued that for uh, throughout World War II. In fact, in World War II, he was one of the military strategist consultants uh, for the United States Army. And after the war, and after he had retired from newspapering pretty much, he began to teach at Columbia University. So he flew twice a week from Richmond to New York in the early 50s in an era where people really didn't fly very much. In addition to all that, of course, he raised a family the family turn, seems to have turned out pretty well. The children all did interesting things. So there's another man that I've learned to admire. Along the way, uh, the things that prompted that were we purchased the four-volume set of R. E. Lee. And in this case, he has um, inscribed the book to one of his fellow journalists at the Richmond newspaper. And we also purchased or acquired the, the set, uh, the three volume set of Lee's Lieutenants, which he also inscribed to a friend. In this case, he says that it's one of the 100 copies that were issued prior to the general printing. And it includes a letter on his letterhead to um, the editor of a military journal, and they're discussing World War II tactics, actually. So that was this week's discovery. It, as you all know, the value of books is in the discovery. Oftentimes, the discovery within the text, of course. Sometimes it's the things that happen within the illustrations, or maybe even the binding. But more often than not, the value of the book is in the backstory, or the background, or the story surrounding uh, the reason for the book itself. 
And I hope all of you out there find interesting things to discover and value on your bookshelf.